Hello everyone and welcome to another lesson of this mini workshop dedicated to live trading and VPS servers administration. In this lesson, we will talk about what computer to choose to work with strategic want, if laptop or workstation, possibilities of using and also about a possible combination of these two options. So let's start. New one or refurbished one? That's a question that a lot of people think about. New computers really may have advantages. You are getting the newest from the world of computers. You can use the newest CPUs. But on the other hand, you have to pay much more. There is also another question. Pre-built or custom-built computer? Well, for those who are not so experienced in this field, we recommend buying a pre-built computer or if you will have some friend or someone you know and who is good at it, ask him to build a computer for you. And if you are the experienced one, I think you already know the answer. When it comes to the refurbished computers, you won't get the newest model with the newest CPU, for example, but you can get really good performance for half a price or very often for less than half a price. And today you can buy the refurbished computer with two years warranty. So we can recommend and we also use refurbished computers from verified sellers. Now, laptop or workstation? This is also a very frequent question. From our point of view, the laptop is very useful when you travel. You can use it for single backtest, for example, but it is not the ideal option for a strategy building. You should not run it 24 seven. It's because the laptop has limited cooling, so it would overheat it after some time. And in general, laptops offer less performance, but they have the great advantage of portability. So you can take it almost everywhere and work remotely from all over the world. The workstation is not portable, but it can run 24 seven. So it can stay on all the time generating strategies. It also offers high performance and stability. Or you can just combine both laptop and workstation or server hosted at home or in a data center. And while you're traveling, you will have your laptop with you and you can easily remotely connect to your computer where you build your strategies and use the advantages of both of these options, portability and high performance. Now move on to workstation parameters. First of all, how many CPUs you should have. It depends on the concrete composition and how many cores the CPU has. So it doesn't have to necessarily be like the more CPUs, the better because there's a huge difference between a workstation with two CPUs with four cores each and a workstation with just one CPU, but with 10 or more cores. And in this case, you would make it better to buy the second option, a workstation with one CPU with 10 cores. You will have a high performance workstation and also you will save some money on electricity. And also from our experience, we can recommend Intel Xeon CPU or similar. So far, we didn't see workstations with integrated AMD processors, but we saw a comparison of Intel and AMD, where Intel was the weaker one, but on the other hand, AMD was much more expensive than Intel. So I guess just try to find a balance is a good way. But as I mentioned, we've never seen a workstation with an integrated AMD CPU, but I bet such an offer may appear on the market very soon. <clears throat> Another parameter is the number of cores. The core is the base of every CPU. There are one or more cores, but just be careful not to mistake core for thread and two cores and hyper threading. How it works in reality, the processor has just two cores, but each core can process two threads and the system detects them as four core CPUs. But back to our basic question, 
How many cores? Well, that's easy. The more, the better. But always keep in your mind if it is worth the money. Because you don't need like a super duper, the highest possible performance computer. As I already mentioned before, just try to find the balance between the performance and expenses. Another thing is CPU frequency. Generally, the higher frequency, the faster processor. So which frequency you should choose? In this case, try to compare the price versus the performance. But from our experiences, the ideal frequency is between 2.2 and 2.6 GHz or higher. We would not choose a processor with a 1.8 GHz frequency even if they would have more cores, because from our experiences they are not so high performance. But again, this always depends on the concrete type. And it is always good to compare the processor with some others. And that's why we have a tip for you where and how to compare them. Easily go to cpubenchmark.net, type in two concrete processors and find out which one what fit you the best. Now let's move on to another important parameter, memory. We do recommend at least 30 gigabytes of RAM, but ideally 64 or more. The wider RAM is, the more time frames you can use and strategy building will run smoothly. When it comes to disk, we recommend at least 256 gigabytes of SSD, if you would be more fastidious about the typing and reading speed, it is possible to buy an NVMe disk later that is up to three times faster. And again, for the beginning, 256 gigabytes is okay, but if you can buy 512 gigabytes or so, the prices are not so bad on the market, so if you can just buy the wider one, when it comes to a graphic card, you don't need an extra high performance one. Some kind of basic one will be enough, but if you would like to use your workstation to make videos for example or some graphic work, you can of course and you will probably have to upgrade it. We do recommend resolution 1920 to 1080, so full HD because strategy quant is optimized for this resolution. And what parameters choose for the laptop? We don't have a big choice of the number of cores in this case, because most laptops have from two to four cores. And again, when it comes to CPU frequency, the higher frequency, the better, but we recommend 2.4 or 2.6 and again, it depends also on price. Disk, again, should be SSD and at least 256 gigabytes at the beginning. But again, we recommend better 512. Graphics card is also the same as for a workstation. So the basic one and recommended resolution is 1920 to 1080. Also, we would like to mention a tip. Try to check out bergainhardware.co.uk where you can get refurbished workstations for a very good price. And also, we personally have a very good experiences with this company. Well, and that's actually all for today. In case of any questions, please put them in the discussion forum. Have a great day and see you next time.